everyone, it's Maria here from Pebbly Rose Paper Crafting. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to make a card using the Sneak Peek Butterfly Wishes stamp set, which is coming up in our new annual catalogue, which will go live on the 4th of June. So um, if you're a customer of mine, you can order it then. And uh, those customers that have been ordering through me, I have sent off your catalogues already. So you should be receiving them uh, middle to late next week. So just letting you know. So we're going to use this beautiful stamp set and it is a distinctive stamp set. So what will happen is I'll be using my sponge daubers a lot um, because I find that's the best way to get um, the best images out of this stamp set. I'm using the Country Floral Textured Embossing Folder. This is the one that's coming up in our new catalogue as well. But those of you who um, ordered during celebration managed to get it for free like I did. So that was awesome. And I'm using the Stitch Shape Framelits and the Largest Circle. This has to be, I think, one of my most used um, dies out of this set, I have to say. <laughs> so we'll get started on the project. Um, first off, I'm going to be using uh, Knight of Navy cardstock. This is half an A4 and then scored in half again and that makes an A6 card base. So I'm just going to burnish the score line with my bone folder. Then I will then you will need a piece of layering whisper white cardstock. This will go on the inside once we're done. And you'll need a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock, and also you'll need a layering piece of Knight of Navy cardstock, which will go on the front to layer on. So, to start off with, what we're going to do is use our um, scrap piece of Whisper White. I'm going to use my Stamparatus because I find that for this kind of stamping, that's the best way to go. And I'm going to use a magnet, so I'll just grab one from underneath and just pop it on here so the page doesn't move. Now, with the stamp set, I'm just going to take out that branch image. Now, um, I have my daughter home sick today, so if you hear a little bit of sniffing or a little bit of coughing, just no, or a little bit of nose blowing. She's at home, the poor thing. So, yeah, not much fun for her, I'm afraid, today. But it is what it is. Okay, oops. Be careful of the magnets as well with these. Forgot about that. <laughs> All right, so I've got my um, branch image here, and I'm just going to pick it up with my lid and I'm going to use some sponge daubers so I'm going to ink up with the floaty flamingo to start off with so I've got a sponge dauber for each color and I'm going to um, pop in some color here like that and then just really targeting the flowers okay and then I'm going to put the lid on that turned out really pretty I like that Then I'm going to wipe it because I don't want to cross contaminate colours. And then the next thing I'm going to do is get some Granny Apple Green. And I'm going to um, ink up the leaves of this image. I'll try not to get onto the flower as much as possible, but that's not always possible <laughs> and just put it as much as I can as closely as I can and if there's anything that's obvious and too much I can 
take off as much as possible with my chamois. I think that will do. And then I'll pop that over the top. That's really pretty. I love that. Okay. Then the next thing I'm going to do is just wipe that off again. And then I'm going to add early espresso. This is a new door bus, so I've got to um, ink it up quite a bit. And then I'll add it on. And ink up my branch. And whatever I've gone over with, I will... Um, use my spun uh, my chamois and just try and get rid of them the early espresso from the flowers so it doesn't transfer it's a little bit of trouble but it's the effect will be beautiful afterwards and that's what I'm hoping for here all right let's see how that goes That is so pretty. I'll just show you now, just close up. Can you see that? That is so pretty. So that's the inking of that image. I'm just gonna clean that up. And then I'm going to bring out the large butterfly, butterfly, butterfly. So sorry, I can't speak this morning. <laughs> All right, here's the butterfly image. I'm going to pop that down here. I'll just move the magnet. These are so strong, these magnets. And I'll just pop the butterfly there. And again, I'm going to use my sponge dauber. I'm going to use early espresso. Actually, I should go light to colour first. Yes, I'll go light to colour first. So I'm going to use um, pineapple punch for the butterfly. Stink it up with my sponge adorber and then go over it. Oh, that's really pretty. Check that out. Look at that detail. Isn't that beautiful? <gasps> Love it. Let's get a little bit more. Okay. And that's the butterfly there. Then I'm going to clean that up. And then I'm going to sponge on some grapefruit growth. I'll do it just around the edges there. Let's see how that turned out. Oh, that is so pretty. It's really, really lovely. I love these distinctive stamps, but the best way to ink them up is with a sponge dauber, or you can um, use uh, a very dry ink pad with very little ink and that's the best way if the ink pads are really juicy you will find that um, they are um, going to like make the image really like splotchy so I'm just going to put a little bit of um, early espresso just on the edges of that butterfly image a little bit there in the middle just a little bit more Make it as dark as possible around there. And then the body, I want it to be quite pronounced. And then I'm going to use my sponge. And if I've gone too much into the wings there, I'll just take off 
go right on the edge. I'm going to make it like really thin and then just go around the edges there. Do it again. Okay, I think that ought to do it. And let's stamp that. Wow, that turned out really beautiful. So that's that. So I'll take that off. And um, bear with me for one second. I forgot my blending brushes and I'll be back shortly. Okay, so that's a close up again so you can have a look. You can see the detail by doing it with a sponge at all, but it's a really good way of doing it. So what I'll bring now is my craft sheet. And I'm going to get my blending brush, my makeup brush and balmy blue. I love this blue. And I'm just going to add some inks, tap off and just lightly go over the entire image. I can use a little bit more of the ink, tap off and go over, tap off again. And it just blends so beautifully. See, it's got a slight blue tinge, just love it. I love these blending brushes. Now to clean them, all I'm doing is just using my um, my microfiber cloth. Just clean that off, and that's it with my stuff there. All right, sorry I bumped the camera. All right, so. Now what I'll do is I will grab my circle and I'm going to do it like that. So I'll grab my die cutting machine and use whatever appropriate sandwich you need for that. Stick this on here. Had it perfect just before. run that through isn't that pretty that is just so pretty I love that and whilst I have my die cutting machine out I'm going to do some embossing I'm going to grab my um, layering piece there of Night of Navy and I'm going to use that country floral embossing folder just pop that in the middle there crank that through whoops and that's it then with my die cutting machine and just wow look at that so beautiful I love the effects of this folder really pretty so I'm going to bring back my card base and I'm going to glue that on and have that ready I like applying liquid glue on um, these kinds of embossed cardstocks because they're very uh, textured and they're a bit uneven so it's just easier. Just 
give it a good press down. Not too hard. But check that out. <gasps> How pretty. Look at that. Oh, I love that. That is so pretty. Okay, so I'll leave that to the side for a second. Now I've got this butterfly. Now this um, stamp set unfortunately doesn't have any matching dies for you to cut out any of these images except for there is the butterfly duet punch that can punch out this image and that image over there so that's the only thing you can do so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fussy cut that gorgeous butterfly so what I'll do is I'll probably speed up the video so enjoy So I've just finished cutting this butterfly out. The antennae are a little bit tricky, but what do you do? There's no dye, so you make do. So anyway, I think that looks really pretty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop all these up on dimensionals. So I'll just grab those. The circle there so I'll take off the dimensionals and I will put on some glue especially around the antennae just to make sure that they don't um, become unstable and rip off put a bit of glue here and there just on the edges and I'll stick that butterfly right there how beautiful is that? Oh, I just love it. All right, so we'll get onto the inside of the card. It's always nice to finish it off. So I'll just pop that here to the side for a moment. And for the inside of the card, let's see what we'll do. Um, I'm going to add, I think, the butterfly just down here. And that will look really pretty. So. I'll grab my uh, Stamparatus again. Oops. Actually, I'll do mine that way. And there's my butterfly there. And we'll use the same colours as we did before so that it all matches. So I'll grab my uh, pineapple punch and I'll just use that all over because it's the lightest colour stamp that really pretty just a bit more in the middle there very nice okay then I'm going to use my grapefruit grove and I'll just give this a bit of a clean so I don't want to cross contaminate my colors that's just me I mean you don't have to do what I do but um, I quite like it that way so I'll just do some grapefruit grove just along the edges of the butterfly that's really pretty And then I'm going to use um, early espresso. Ink that up and I'll just go along the edges. Just along the edges there. And then I'm going to ink up the body of the butterfly.
I think I did a better job of inking it up this time. <laughs> Practice makes perfect. And then I'm going to just stamp it like that. Oh, super pretty. Look at that. And then I'm going to just clean that up. Take off my stamp. This is now finished. And I'll just stick this at the back. And we are done with the card. Look at that. So pretty. All right, so I'm going to now stick this um, inside. I'm going to leave this card blank so I can have it for any occasion that may come up. And then we stick it down there. And that turned out really pretty. I'm just going to clean my desk here a bit. There's a bit of ink on there. And that's my beautiful card for today. I just really enjoyed making this card. Look how pretty it is. And I'll just show you, in, you know, with a better angle. I really love how that turned out. And I love that. And um, this is a stamp set that's coming up, the Butterfly Wishes. I'll just put away my stamp so I don't lose it. But this is a stamp that will come up in our new annual catalogue, along with the beautiful Country Floral Dynamic Folder. You'll see that in the new catalogue as well. And my trusty Stitch Shape Framelits will also be in the new catalogue too. Um, these are great. I use them all the time, I have to say. So, yeah, this will be available through my online store at pebblyrose.stampinup.net on the 4th of June. So, I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to uh, leave me a comment or you can contact me through my online store at pebblyrose.stampinup.net. Have a wonderful day, everyone, and thank you for watching. Bye.